where we left off in the last lesson, let's move on to the Object Properties Docker. Go to Window Object Properties, Shortcut Alt Enter. I like to keep my dockers on the right side of my window, but you can rearrange your workspace as you see fit. Select an object and change its fill color. It's incredibly easy, and honestly, I rarely work in CorelDRAW without this docker open. You can also change the outline by selecting Outline. Next up is Fountain Fill. It's under Fill to the right of Uniform Fill. You can find a plethora of options you can manually configure versus only using the interactive fill tool. Linear, elliptical, conical, and rectangular fountain fill types are all there along with options for angle, adding or deleting colors, and more. Next to fountain fill is vector pattern fill. You can check out Corel's content exchange for a plethora of patterns or join me in chapter 4 to create our own custom pattern. Following the vector pattern fill is bitmap pattern fill. This is where rasterized images make their home in pattern form. I tend to like using vector patterns within vector programs best, so I know they're scalable and print well no matter what. That said, bitmap patterns can provide fantastic textures and photo patterns unique to their file type and an asset to your document. Moving on from fill attributes, we have transparency. Select another object and hit the wine glass in the object properties docker. Here you'll find a drop down menu of merge modes and transparency options. I selected Fountain Fill under Transparency in the Merge Mode Multiply. Merge modes change how an object's color merges with the content below it. Common merge modes include Normal, Multiply, Overlay, and Screen. Check out how some of these modes change the look over your overlapping objects. You can also check out the Pattern Fill as your Transparency option. We've played with Transparency before in Chapter 2 Lesson 5, and the options for the Interactive Transparency tool are much the same as those found in the Docker. Before we end this lesson, let's check out some of the additional outline options the Docker has. Focus in on one object. I've chosen an outline square. Zoom in and let's play. Change the outline color. Change the stroke type from solid line to dotted. Change it back. It's quick and simple, much like the outline tool itself. Missing from the tool and property bars, a cor new in this docker, are corner and cap options. You can choose mitered, rounded, and beveled corners and square, rounded, and extended square caps. Additionally, you can change where the outline is placed on the path, outside, centered, and inside. This is seen a bit better with a fill color to show how the outline covers or uncovers the filled object. Open paths show off stroke caps more than closed objects, but when I deselect it, you can clearly see the beveled corners more clearly. You can continue playing with the outline, fill, and transparency options found in the object properties docker, or get ready to move on with me to the next lesson.